Hey, good Thursday to you. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Our word of the day today is the call of Abram. So if you have your Bibles, take your Bibles, turn to Genesis chapter 12. We want to read a few verses and then we want to share a few insights. By the way, for those of you who are not familiar with who I am, I'm Chad Anderson. I get to serve as your executive pastor here at Calvary and love to get to know you if I haven't met you yet. Join with me and let's read God's word. Genesis chapter 12, starting in verse 1. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land I will show you, and I'll make of you a great nation, and I'll bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and those who dishonor you, I'll curse and in you all of the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went as the Lord had told him. Now, continue to read on, and you're going to find a lot of insight to this, but here's one of the neat things about this. Did you notice in this scripture, God asked Abram to do something. He said, follow me. He sent him a call. He asked him, follow me. Just do what I'm asking. Abram didn't do anything special other than follow God's direction. He did not give him the exact destination if you go back and look. He just said, pack it up, let's go, I'm going to show you a place. And by the way, not only did he say, I'm going to show you a place where you're going to be, he said, here's a promise that I'm going to give to you. I'm going to make you, Abram, a great nation. We now know that as the Jewish nation, but that's what it was at that time. And all of your descendants will be blessed. All of your descendants will be blessed. Man, what a calling. What a fantastic ask of someone. But you know what? Abram could have sulked and he could have said, God, give me more information. God, tell me exactly where I'm going and I'll decide whether I'm going to do that. And some of you listening may have gone through that same conversation with God. God may have asked you to do something, and you're like, I need more details. I want more details. Now, there's okay to ask for details, but when God directly asks you to do something, can I just encourage you? Just surrender and doing it, because like in this story, if anyone blessed him, God said, he would bless them. God does the same for each of us. And he also said, if anyone chooses to dishonor you, I'll curse them. But you asked, what did Abraham what did he do to get such a position, to gain such favor? You know what he did? He followed God's call by and through faith. You see, in Hebrews eleven eight, if you look carefully, by faith, Abraham, which is his extended name, obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he received as an inheritance. We call it the promised land. That's what they called it. He went to Canaan land, the promised land, where the foundation, as we talked about earlier, of the Jewish nation began. All because, absolutely, unequivocally, Abram answered God's call and chose to be obedient. Is there something that God's calling you to do or asking you to do? Is there an obedience area that God's asking you to follow him in and you're being rebellious? Can I just encourage you, be encouraged by God's words and by this call of Abram that it may go well with you. Whatever it is, I'd love to encourage you to follow with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your strength. Follow what it is exactly that God's asking you to do. Don't debate him. Don't say I'm not going until I have all of the information. If he says go, you start going. And here's a little hint. If you're going in the wrong direction, which I hear a lot of people say when they ask me, I just don't know if I'm going the right way. If you go in the wrong direction, your father will absolutely unequivocally tell you you're going the wrong way. You need to change directions. But let's be like Abram. Let's enjoy those blessings. Let's surrender all of the areas of our lives that God's calling us to, especially to leading others to a life-changing relationship with Jesus here at Calvary. I hope that you have a great rest of your Thursday. Will you join me in prayer? 
Father, thanks. Thanks that you make your call really clear in our lives. Father, you ask us to follow you. You take us to places that maybe we're uncomfortable going, but we know that you're there before we get there. And so I'm praying for all of those who hear these words, that they be encouraged and that they would trust in you by faith and through faith in your son, Jesus Christ. Our beg, our plead is that we clearly hear your call and that we answer the call and obedient to you. God, we want to tell you that we love you and thank you for loving us so much that you gave your one and only son for us. In Christ's holy name we pray, amen. Go forth and have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. God bless and bye-bye.